times this year? One six times. I think. That is the trailer, we won't put it back on. Well, these guys convinced me, take the wing off again. It's uh, different tonight, instead of just doing a heat race, I think it's uh, it's just random draw here. We're just running an exhibition race, $20 buy-in, and I mean, obviously it's a chance. I think the winner's share will be over 100 bucks, and we're already here, we already got tires on the thing, we didn't change anything, uh, but it's another chance to get some non-wing experience. It's gonna be fun, I just, you know, I just try, to, just try to go out there and do the best I can with the little non-wing experience I have. I felt like we had a lot of potential last weekend with just, uh, you know, a couple laps in a heat race and then obviously we got in that incident so this might be a chance to redeem myself we got the win with the wing on so maybe we'll take the wing off here and just be as successful would be the goal but a lot of strong non-wing guys though in the field so we're just gonna go out there like I said have some fun hopefully some of my iRacing experience you know non-wing 360 and 410 can help uh, but this will definitely be some fun content for the video and I'm probably gonna be smiling the whole time there dad got our number not 18 because it's a little hard to do but just simple we have to have a number there on the panel. Carly is also gonna be partaking in the non-wing feature. First time? Yeah. First time running non-wing. I think there's gonna be in total 10 of us out there. The night's almost wrapped up. I think they're gonna run non-wing box stocks and then us. Uh, and both of them are just exhibition. Obviously no points, no nothing. Just a little bit of money on the line. And like I said, probably the, the most fun we could have in an outlaw cart. tire from the winged race okay so we're trying to figure out what tires to put on i just don't want to smoke good ones especially if i do end up sucking so we went back to a junk left rear should be fine and then we're putting some cross back in the car to tighten it up because this is going to give us more stagger which I think with where the track is, I don't know if we really want that, but I'm not a non-wing expert as well.
Well, my first official non-wing race under my belt. I will uh, start off by saying I got extremely lucky that they did a random number number generator uh, for a starting position, and I got a two. So talk about a, a golden horseshoe in my lap there. Uh, started second, nailed the start. We, I mean, we didn't do anything fancy. We actually knew we were a little bit in trouble before we went out because we realized what everyone else was running. We just left the, you know, you guys saw what tires we put on. And actually with the four stroke, it didn't spin the tires as much, so I don't think it hurt us. But I mean, we had pretty much no tread left there. And uh, looked like I was gonna win the thing for a second, made some good laps. And then Brandon McMaster, who's a kid I've raced with my whole entire life from the beginner box days 10 years ago here. And uh, they've been running a lot of non wing here, experimenting with stuff. And you guys might've noticed when he passed me that eight car, he had a big old right side panel. And uh, I think if I'm gonna run non-wing in the future, I might need to get kind of custom at the, the Holmes Racing Shop and build some panels, because these guys that did have them, it sounds like it's a huge advantage, um, which obviously, I mean, you can see his car just dug, and um, tons of speed. I was a little, I wasn't, I was good enough to be up front just by starting up there, but I knew we weren't necessarily the fastest car. Right off the bat, I was good, but I just, I kind of moved around a little bit, and I never really felt great. It's just like, when you get in the corner, I could feel the right side, you know, losing my right rear, like I was loose and I if I could have had something I think that would have fixed that I would have been way faster like I said a lot of guys build big old right side panels even sometimes panels on the left anything to enclose the car and help with your aerodynamics and whatnot uh, I don't want to talk like I'm a non-wing expert because I'm not we didn't really do anything we just tried tried to tighten up the car a little bit so it wouldn't spin out and um, I just tried to do my job behind the wheel but it was fun second sucks even though we definitely just got beat um, it, it just you know I, I'm a competitor I like to win and you know when we were running up front there I thought maybe we might sweep the night but first and a second nothing to hang our heads about uh, pretty cool for the minimal experience we got but dad did the right call S solid night first and a second first and a second not too bad so that's gonna end this non-wing video short fun might have to do it again sometime we don't get the chance to but um that's gonna kind of conclude our roseburg indoor season thank you guys for watching wait how many wins is that at roseburg for the season? so if we're just doing wing you know wing stats uh six races five with me five wins uh a sixth win in jimmy ellidge's car the house car so this thing was uh, undefeated uh, this year with the combination of my dad and I, which is something that we're very proud of. And we could not have done it without all the people that support us in QRC and just you know the hard work we put in in the shop to make sure we do all the obvious things right. That's how you win races. Put yourself in the best spot possible. Um, I'm gonna quit ranting. Thank you guys. It was a fun video. Second sucks.